Hi everybody, welcome. We have another episode of Out of the Wilderness with yes. Keith and Perry. Yep, this is Keith, I'm still Perry. Happy to be with you. Keith has an excellent subject uh, today that we'd like to discuss. So Keith, take it away my friend. Sure, um, I watched a movie yesterday. Uh, you might have seen it, it was called Courageous. And uh, it really hit my heart like a ton of bricks. Um, watching the movie, it's about, it, it started out as about a guy who's a sheriff's deputy that his eight-year-old daughter is killed in a car accident by a drunk driver. And him and his wife and his son that was still living, they couldn't figure out why it would, they had why God had to take their daughter and let the drunk driver live. And and while I get that, I understand that mentality and I understand that. Um, he went to the pastor for help and said, Pastor, what do I do? And, and the pastor said, well, you could start by changing your perspective. And your perspective mm -hmm. being is, don't be angry for the time you don't have her. Be yeah. grateful for the time you had have with her. Had her. Yes. But throughout the movie, they signed a resolution and the resolution was about men. And the, the way it came about, is reason why I wanted to do this subject today on men of courage. Men of courage. It's a dying breed. Yes. It's a dying breed. Men will not stand up for what is right, even if they're the only one standing. And I will tell you that if you stand up for what's right and what's just and what's good, you're not going to be the only one. People will stand with you. Not only that, <clears throat> God stands with you. Absolutely. And that's the most <clears throat> important partner you have is God. Yeah. Um, and what I mean by men of courage standing up for what's right, nobody's going to teach our children how to live good, godly lives but us. No one's going to protect and honor our wives but us and if or, you're married. And, and the mothers. And the mothers. And grandmothers. And grandmothers. Yeah. And I mean, and it just doesn't mean your wife. It means your mother, mm -hmm. your grandmother, um, Daughter, you know, your sister, sister, their children. You know, if you know a child that's out there that doesn't have a father, mentor them. Absolutely. Teach them Absolutely. what's right, what's good from bad. Teach them how to live godly life. We all have within us what we need to live a godly life. We need to show these children, these young boys, how to be men, yeah. how to tap that. Because uh, it, it, the old saying, uh, we might be the only Jesus these young men, young women ever see. That's right. And I uh, say, well, isn't that being a little arrogant? Uh, no, absolutely no, not. Christ lives because within Christ us. lives right on in us. Yeah. And if we don't give that out, I believe, on Judgment Day, we will be judged. I will be, you will be judged for that. Yeah. And it, I, it doesn't matter, again, whether how your church viewpoints are. We will be held accountable. Right. And we men are in a world of hurt when it comes to accountability. We have been We've, complacent. Of total failures. You said it. I was going to say it, but mm -hmm. I held back. You said it. Yeah. He's right. We have failed as men. We have failed our families. We've failed our children. It made me, this movie made me realize that I am not even half the father I should have been. I was saying, well, I was a good enough father. No, I was not good enough. I was not good enough because my daughters do not follow God like I do. I failed them. Mm -hmm. um, I failed my wife because I don't honor her like Christ honored the church. I don't honor her like I should. I've failed my wife. That's not gonna, that, that's, that's not gonna go on anymore. No more complacency, guys. No more. Evil wins when good men do nothing. And we're good men. We have God in our hearts. If you see evil, confront it. Yeah. We, that's what being good is all about. It's confronting the evil, Confront stopping it, it. And then turn away from it. That's right. So, yeah. And we really need to work on that as, as the male of the species. We are the leaders. Yeah. Well, we were, as males, we were created first for a couple reasons. There are no male females in heaven, but no. we were the sons of God. Right. The women and the children who play 
without them, we're nothing. Right. Uh, but it's our job. We were created to protect them. Exactly right. Uh, exactly right. You know, uh, it's our job. It's it, yes. First, our first job is to love God with all our heart, soul, right. and mind. Yep. Their second job is to protect our own. Mm -hmm. Protect yeah. them. Serve them. Honor them. Provide for them. Yeah. Half the problems we have in this world today. Detroit, L.A., Chicago. We have these problems because these gangbangers, these boys, they got nothing else. They got no other family. Yeah. We've failed as men. We need to stay, stand up, take accountability, and we need to do something about it. Because yeah. we have like, so, so many broken homes uh, that these kids... Uh, they see families where all kinds of strife and anger and hate and uh, and they think that's okay. They think it's normal. Yeah, because that's that's what goes on at home. And it's not but normal. The gang, they're out looking for a father image right. or an uncle or a right. grandpa. Well, my uncle was a uh, with whatever they call the name of their gangs, yeah. and so he was a, he was a cool dude and I just want to be like him right well yeah being I, cool and being good way far, far apart. apart yeah they're not yeah. the same yeah, so it's, uh, you know um, and then it scares me I mean in a healthy way that I was not the man that I, I'm not half the man I should be yeah. I should be yeah. I want to pop this in there though don't condemn yourself no because of what we didn't do right uh, learn or from where us. we may fail right. in the learn future. Learn from us and be learn better. Learn from our us and learn from our mistakes. I'm not going to go into any detail today. But no, I was a, I was an absolute uh, as a stepfather because I didn't have biological children. I was a real dirt bag. I mean, an absolute real dirt bag. There's no reason in the world any of those kids should ever speak to me ever again. Right. Uh, and I've paid the price for that to some, to some degree. You know, so, well, and, you know. and, and I've seen it on you that you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders about that. Yeah. Which leads to a godly repentance. Yep. Because it's a good regret. There's a healthy regret too. There's a good regret. Because that good regret does turn to a godly repentance. Yeah. Which brings you back to the moment of salvation again. Yeah. It's a good that reminder. Good yes. That, that, that error is a good reminder. Uh... And I learned from that. You know, how, do, how do I talk with some of the younger people? I have to stop and look at what I did. And simple things like I came home a drunk, screamed and yelled and called them all kinds of, all kinds of names and wondered why uh, they didn't want to go to church because after we got out and I went and had a, a smoke and a shot of booze. It was in how can you respect the a car. hypocrite? They go, mm, you know, yeah, yeah absolutely. How can you respect yeah. a hypocrite? Yeah, and... Uh, and they we can't, see, and they didn't. In no, my case, they that's didn't. That's right. Yeah. You know, the only thing that I have going for me and my daughters, my daughters are both healthy, they're both strong, they have jobs, they have bank, they have the same bank accounts that I gave them at 18. They have a bank account with 100 bucks in it each. And said, this is your bank account. Now, this is, when this is empty, you need to figure out how to fill it. And they still have the same bank accounts today, and they're 26 and 27. Yeah. I did something right. Yeah. But the thing that I'm getting at is every night when my daughters went to bed, they made sure they had a daddy that loved them. And now they're not looking for love in all the wrong places. They're not looking for love in one-night stands and cheap suits and stuff like that. My eldest daughter's getting married next month. I'm yeah. very proud of her. She found a man that I am proud to call son. I'm happy. You know Chad. I do. He's a great man. I've known Chad. For I quite wish a he would while, give his heart actually. to the Lord. But One day he will. He's been asking me a lot of questions mm -hmm. about it, so that's a good thing. But the point I'm trying to make, guys, is we need to be better. We do. You know, and I'm not saying this to condemn you. There is no condemnation here. None. None. I challenge you to be better. I challenge you because we can it's within us it's here the heart is the key to everything that's right the kingdom is here um we get in our own way 
you know, all of this is really simple. We just muck it up with all this other <laughs> junk that. Yeah. That, Getting close to God is for, far more simpler than we make it out yeah, to be. Yeah. It yes, is. Uh, Trust me. Yeah. yeah um, so. But it's, you know, I had to, watching that at the end of that movie when I realized what they had done and what they'd accomplished and, and what they did what they signed in the eyes of God, in the eyes of their family, in the eyes of the pastor of the church. I I cried and asked God to forgive me. It hit me that hard. I said, forgive me, Father, because I wasn't good enough. And as men, as men, as me, as a man, I am not good enough. I will never be good enough. All things are possible through Christ our Lord. Right. I we, can do nothing. Again, don't, con don't, it's hard to tell you to, not to not to condemn yourself because that that doesn't help. Like either, a, but, like I, like I said, but, you but have a healthy, a healthy regret yeah. that leads to a to, godly yeah, repentance. Yeah. Because I'm one of those. Don't get I, angry. Don't hold uh, anger in your heart at yourself because God's not angry with you. He no, loves you. No, no, He's not. Even yeah. when we fall down and make the mistake over and maybe over yeah. and over, He's still standing he still there to pick us up us. and yeah. loves us. That's right. And, uh, so just remember. You know, we have to teach the next generation how to be godly people. Yeah. If we want the world to be a better place for our children and our children's children, we have to start have teaching to start them. Doing that. Yeah, we start. have to step mm -hmm. up and show these young men how to be men, how to be men, how to be honorable, how to treat their wives, how to treat their children. Yeah. If we don't teach them, nobody will. And then it will be a cycle of violence yeah. and ignorance and stupidity yeah. over and over and yeah. over. What they'll get taught is simply by uh, what I call, we call the world, and that cycle is to, to hate and that's to, right. to steal and to kill. And because, that's right. Uh, that seems to be the right thing to do today. Uh, and yeah, uh, the, you, you look you it know, out there in the world, they're calling good, good and, evil and evil good. good. And only in bizarre world is that the case. Yeah. Not here. Yeah, no, it's not supposed evil to Evil is still evil, yeah. you know? And, and we have to chase the evil from our lives or else we're going to become corrupted by it. Yeah. And and I, I I challenge you men to have incorruptible hearts. Keep them pure. Yeah. Keep you know, be strong. Be of Deuteronomy 31 tells us be strong, be of courage, fear not for the Lord, Lord thy God, God is, is with, with you, you will never, never leave you and never forsake you. Absolutely. And that's a fact. Yeah. We just read that a couple times today. That's yeah, right. That's and, and, and I take comfort in that. Yes. Knowing that even if I fall down, he's going to pick me up, yeah. you know, yeah. um, and I can fall on my face, give myself the biggest shiner in the planet, but he's still there yeah. and he's not ashamed. Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed of him and he'll not be ashamed of yeah. me. And we find too that other people uh, won't be ashamed of us. Some will, but a lot of people just look at you and go, wow, you know, I need to be able to get to that Well, if point. you do it with love uh, yeah. and, and, and kindness and, and mercy yeah. and, and, and gentleness, people will be drawn to that. Because yeah, you're, you're planting seeds, you're planting, yeah. planting good seed that yeah. way. Because like I said, um, you know, and, and you, there is going to be times when, yes, you will stand alone. Oh, absolutely. But you will truly not be alone because yeah. Perry and I are here. Reach out to us through the video, you know, through the comments. Oh, yes. But Christ Always, is with you yeah. too. Yeah. With questions, we're willing to do our best to answer questions. Do it on the private uh, email thing. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, and and uh, again, I I I failed um, the website. Once we get the website done, then you can contact us directly. Yeah. Um, but I, I got complacent. I failed. Well, I didn't fail. We just got busy. We're like everybody else with this. COVID we let the world get we caught. Let, we let the, we get caught up in the world, world yeah. and and yes, in that aspect, we fail. Yeah. You know, because we are not citizens of this world. Yeah. We're just passing through. I know I am. I'm just passing through. Um, my home, I'm just passing right? through. I'm not saying, you know. Of course, I'm not going to say, um, Jesus, please come quick and get us out of here, because that's not going to case. We're not leaving this planet. The kingdom of God will come to us. He's coming back and he's bringing the kingdom here. So we're not going anywhere. So don't be so excited to get out of the world because it's going to be here. The kingdom. Everything will be made new. Everything.
And I'm excited for that day. Oh, absolutely. Abs absolutely. It's, we don't have to live, because just when you think you've won the rat race, uh, along come faster rats. And these young whippersnappers are fast. Yep. That's why we got to catch them and teach catch them. Catch them and teach them before they get away. That's right. Yeah. Catch them yeah. while they're still. And that's, that's the challenge I have for you men that are watching this. We love you. We pray for you. Absolutely. Um, we will continue to pray for you, and we will pray for strength where you need it. Because, and remember, if you have a smile on your face, you can't be angry. So yep. make sure that you use the joy of the Lord for your strength. They say medically it takes more muscles in your face to frown than it does to smile. That's a, that's a, that's that's a, medical, a scientific fact. Yeah, it, 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 it is. It is. So, so. but anyways, we're going to probably let you go. We just want to stop in and, and touch base on this today. Um, and we hope you enjoy our videos. Yeah. And if you do, we'll keep doing them. Yeah. And if you're new and haven't seen any of the ones we've done uh, before uh, and you like them, do us a favor. Uh, it's, it, it doesn't benefit us personally. But hit the like button. Hit the uh, like yeah, button. Yeah. Hit the subscribe. And you'll button. get you'll get notified Probably, every yeah. time. And that's the red bell. When you hit the subscribe yeah, button, a red bell will appear. Hit the red, red bell button. and you'll get a notification yeah. every time we put a new yeah. video up. But Until we have, move to the website. Yeah. And if you if you find that you watched it and there was something you didn't like, uh, let us know. Put a, put that in the comment. You know, yeah. be kind, but put that in the comment. As again, I try to address the questions and things that come come through. Uh, on, yeah, he on puts his on video. Facebook. I put mine on Facebook, so and then you have I have a number of people yeah. that I personally send to on a regular basis. Right. But yes, uh, but I'm willing to discuss. Uh, well, and if you say if you have a comment towards it, me, I, put it on him. He'll yep, relay it to I'll me. I'll get it back. Yep. Yep. We call each other every Brothers, other day. Yeah, we do. And so, we're, we're like this. Yep. Um, and yep. So, so anyways, um, regular closing prayer. Yep. Go for it. Lord, we thank you so much for the time that you've given us to speak with the people out there, Lord. We pray for these people, Lord. We pray that you instill the courage in them that they need to do what is right at the Amen. right time Lord. Yes. yes we pray that you walk with them that you comfort them and bolster them in all areas lord so that they may stand for what's good right and just in your eyes lord may our sacrifice of courage be a pleasant aroma to you and amen. we pray this all in the mighty name of jesus amen amen so okay we will see, see you, you in, in church, church.